So Jerry, share your forecast with us. Hey, Emily, thanks for having me back. Look, I think Thomas is right. In a, in a volatile market and economy we're seeing right now, cloud actually is going to see increase both in uh, market revenue, right, it's 200 billion run rate through all the big three or four cloud providers, but also from startups. We're seeing 50 billion plus last year in cloud investment by VCs, Greylock included. But I think the emphasis you see going forward is a lot around two areas. Security continues to be a big deal in the cloud. And number two, cost savings. So as we see kind of this next market, governance, developer tools, data tools, will all continue to grow, but really focus on how to save our customers money. So uh, how do you think this market volatility will impact the broader cloud landscape? Obviously we heard Google Cloud CEO Thomas Curie in there, sure. but it's hard not to believe that, you know, this isn't going to impact how big customers are spending their money. I would say big customers, the move to cloud grows about 20% year over year in terms of compound and a growth rate. So the big customers would continue to spend. And like I said earlier, the two or three areas we're seeing around are security for sure. For example, I think we saw over $7 billion in VC funding go into security startups. The big cloud customers will continue to spend on security companies. For example, Abnormal Security, one of Greylock portfolio companies has raised a ton of money last year for email and data security. Number two, I think cloud customers will continue to spend money on things like data. So we saw like Snowflake continues to do well in the public market. Databricks continues to do well in the private market, but increasingly startups in the Databricks and Snowflake ecosystem will be focused on how to save customers money around data costs. So I think the big three continue to grow. I think security and data and AI continue to grow, but increasingly, a focus on customer spending and enterprise spending and how to reduce costs for the next two or three years would be a big focus. So how would you characterize VC sentiment? I mean, we've been hearing from VCs, you know, sure. pull back, batten down the hatches, you know, you might have to take a valuation haircut, you might not be able to raise your next round when you thought you would. How would you characterize your sentiment broadly and then that sentiment when it comes to cloud? Sure, if you look at the data from like Encarta and PitchBook and other, uh, other data sets out there, Series A valuations are down 20, 25% from a year ago. I think Series C, Series D financing valuations are down from a year ago. And for sure, we're seeing uh, a tightening of the venture market towards a bunch of ideas. But I would say my personal sentiment, Greylock sentiment, and the sentiment of our companies here is, look, if you have a, a, a distinct value add, like a hard return on investment for a cloud company, and that is, Emily, either securing the company through like security products, firewall products, um, improving the digital business of the business of, of a company like AI or machine learning to help transform, transform the business, or three, saving your customers money. So if you can reduce cloud spend, reduce storage spend, reduce uh, data spend as a startup, you can have a hard ROI and you're actually going to pop to the top of a CIO's wish list. So we say in the past two or three years, we've seen a lot of great ideas thrown out there, but in the next two years, we're going to see a fewer and fewer companies really focus on um, saving money, improving the digital economy, because if you're doing wellness market, show a really hard ROI, Emily, you're going to get more budget mm -hmm. and more awareness from your customers. So I think you're seeing a separation in the market. The great companies will get more of the customer spend and the tier two, tier three companies will struggle to raise because they don't have a real hard ROI for the customers. So we're and saying would focus you say, on. Well, sorry, would you ahead. say that trend also extends to hiring and, and, and layoffs? I mean, because we've seen hiring freezes and, and, and layoffs kind of across the board. Yeah, I think a lot of companies are looking at their burn rates and realizing that their economics were just upside down, right? So, hey, the burn rates are not sustainable. Uh, the, where the capital markets are right now aren't guaranteed. They're going to raise either up valuation or even a flat valuation. So we're seeing a lot of companies say, hey, I'd rather be uh, slightly conservative, save my money for the next, not one year runway, but two years of runway until the capital markets and venture markets get a little bit more um, predictable. Because I think just like the public stock market hates uncertainty, the private markets around venture companies and startups also hate uncertainty. So until we have a lot more certainty of what like the series B, series C, series D financings look like, you know, a lot of startups are going to be a little more conservative. But that said, if there's a good okay. ROI on their spend on sales and marketing, Emily, they're going to continue to hire sales reps, continue to hire engineers. The good companies would do well. But I think we just need a little more clarity where the market's going. 